Where is data stored for those AI models, especially the really big, large language models that can respond to you with intelligence and knowledge? Where is all, where is all that stored? Well, it's actually stored in a, a bunch of numbers, a whole bunch, a lot of numbers. And the numbers are just like, you know, floating point numbers, regular numbers, but they're in a series. It's just a lot of numbers. Let's take a look. Uh, for example, here is a model. This model has intelligence. Uh, I see right here on the screen, we've got 15 numbers. This means this model has 15 parameters, essentially. Uh, this this model can uh, uh, has been taught or is being trained how to do an operation in, uh, in this case, it says an XOR, an XOR operator, right? This model learned how to do it with just 15 numbers, right? That's a, that's not a lot. Uh, though, when you want to teach a model to do more, then uh, you need you need a few more numbers than 15. And so you have these models like uh, Meta's uh, Meta's Llama 3 it has a an 8 billion and a 7 billion parameter model. That's a, a lot more than 15 numbers. Those numbers uh, are trained via a large amount of data. So you kind of have to go a jump further and to say what how much data storage do you need for these models and you need quite a bit because you need the data that trains the model as well which actually turns out is a lot more than just the 8 billion parameters that are in floating point numbers you have a, a mountains of data probably terabytes terabytes petabytes petabytes zettabytes of data that you need you need a lot of data and then you can take that data and then uh, throw it at uh, these models, these AI models, and then ever so slightly tune them, which you're changing up these numbers just like this. So as you can see, we have a, a 0 0.71 in column uh, F26. And then in the next iteration cycle of the training phase, you see that number just slightly decreases just by a little bit, just by a bit. And then you can see the, the number right below it, uh, 0.41 actually increased by two. This is because each of these matrices that you see here on the screen, it's the same matrix, it's just learning by one additional epoch, right? It's learning by a phase, it's training. We're teaching the model how to do something and it needs to be able to store that information in these floating point numbers. Essentially, it's just a bunch of numbers and then what we can do is we take these numbers, we put them into a big jumble on a file and then put them onto a disk. Now, typically we do this in a four byte number parameter, which is a 32 bit floating point number. Now, each one of these would be a 32 bit floating point number. However, with AI models, you can actually reduce the overall accuracy of the number of bytes uh, to store it more efficiently because you don't usually need that num you don't need that level of precision to get a similar amount of accuracy from the AI model itself. So you can reduce the precision by even half or a quarter and store the AI model in a much smaller space and still have a pretty good model. How much storage do we need for these AI learnings? Well, the storage is all based on the number of parameters or the number of numbers that are inside of the model. And in this case, each number is typically a float 32, 32 bit floating point number, which means it has 32 bits. And when we think of bits in terms of storage, we're usually, we usually think in terms of bytes uh, from a storage perspective because there are eight bits in a byte for most of the modern systems. And that's how we calculate disk storage size and memory volume is in terms of bytes rather than bits. So how would we calculate that? So if we look at Llama, let's say the 8 billion Llama 3 model. Let's look, so uh, let's do some math here in our console, in our terminal window here. So we see billion and then, uh, so this is 1 billion. And then we have a float 32, which each parameter in the the llama model would be 32 uh, bit bits right 32 bits right in this case four bytes so if we were to math that out we would say like this it would look something like this <clears throat> i did this ahead of time a little bit early so we take float 32 which is number of bits per number per parameter right per, uh, and then we divide by eight to represent bytes which is how we calculate in terms of uh the number of uh, storage units that are required, and then we divide, uh, we multiply by billion. So now we have eight billion in this case. Um, let's pull that off. This means just by looking at it, this is the number of bytes that we need. Uh, it looks like essentially four 
gigabytes or thereabout, right? About four gigabytes. However, when we're looking at uh, bytes, we divide by 1024 because that is the reasons that we do this on the internet, 1024. Just a quick interlude over to why we use 1024 instead of a thousand, right? Rounding numbers. I mean, a thousand feels a lot more even to me. Why are we doing it in terms of these weird increments like 1024? That's because uh, in the modern computer architectures, all the numbers are in terms of bytes or octals, right? The eight bit, so there's eight per, per base, right? In terms of number, so it's eight. So it can only be in an increment of eight. So a thousand isn't a, an even eight in this case. So you would need to say 1024 instead of a thousand. And the binary code for 1000 looks like this, uh, which is not straightforward, right? And there's eight, so we, we should see eight here, right? One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, this this is 10 binary digits hold the phone well i i guess this was an ai answer the binary code uh for 1024 is not this all right so we've got a little bit of <laughs> just a smidgen of of uh incorrectness here but it's all based on and it's not base 10 so that's that's the reason why we're doing this in increments of 1024 is because it's not a base 10 when we're calculating disk size and memory size, it's a base eight. So when we're calculating the volume that we need for Meta's eight billion parameter, it wouldn't be eight gigabytes. Uh, it would be smaller bit depths, probably closer to four, right? Uh, in this case, it's gonna be 3.725 gigabytes that are required to store this model at full resolution. And the full resolution in this case are the 32-bit floating point numbers. You can even reduce that further by half if you want to turn that 32-bit into a 16-bit, uh, which totally works. It reduces the precision on the model, but it turns out it still performs pretty well. And so you would be able to do that uh, by half if you wanted to and get that down to 1.86 gigabytes worth of storage in terms of memory required on a GPU or your main system RAM or disk. That is the number that's required in order to store Llama's 8 billion parameter model.